all right they fix it we want to fix it so with update 7.1 uh, of rewards uh, mapping software um, they have implemented and fixed for the disconnect issue with the, this Vader 3 Pro controller and in case you didn't know yes they released official support for this one this controller particularly back then back in 7.0 which is the radio menu update but the reason why I did not make any video on that because well this connect issue is rather annoying so what happened is that every now and now and then there's a random disconnection and kind of make the game stop communicating with the mapping software and it happened really randomly sometimes you got like one every couple of games and then you got sometimes you got like three four disconnects in a row in the span of like 10 minutes but this is not the one thing I don't want to talk about in this video, right? There is more pressing issue and uh, it has something to do with the software, the inside of this controller. Don't get me wrong, FireDG make excellent, make excellent uh, hardware, really. I like, I love everything about the Raider 3 Pro, really. Not liking what, they, what they're what doing with the APS series, though. But Raider 3 is actually, they're doing pretty good with this controller. Now, the issue with the software is that um, it's not that they actually degrade anything. It's just that they are not really moving forward at all. It's in a stagnation state. Let me show you. So here is the um, the main menu of the re the rewards with the Red Three Pros active inactive. And first of all. This one particular button is uh, gray out, gray out, but don't worry about that, it's actually functional. I find very strange because if you have something like a APS2 or Vader 2, you can actually self setting here, you can actually apply the config, um, the mapping and sell the config, and then apply it to the Vader three and it will be functional i find very strange that it was actually create this button and i don't know what the issue with this really but that's one thing now the other thing is um the battery really is like actually the battery the battery indicator is a culprit it's a culprit for the random disconnect on the Vader 3 pro and they had to disable this for it to stop messing with the connection and it's not really a remedy it's just a workaround at the moment but that also means that we do not have the battery indicator on the chain tree on the radar tree pro and honestly that's really that's a really good quality of life feature that i really adore i honestly i i have never run use up and run try up batteries on my way the two or a best two thanks to the indicator on the rewards well kind of hard to come back but that's one thing but then this controller is exactly the carbon copy of the way the two really like like bringing everything down to the every buttons even the trigger is actually just analog like oh by the way speaking of triggers like the impulse triggers are not available on rewards. You can use it with FlyDG PC space, but not rewards. So, real shame. And more importantly, really, is a gyro is a gyro control. Uh, we are on this is we are on the generation three, and we are going to uh, we are going to move on to the generation four with Apex four. But the gyro on the third chain is still two dimensional. Like it's only row or pitch, but not yaw. There's no yaw assist on this one. Now the reason why we actually, the reason why you want this uh have phone fully sit assist gyroscope and motion control is because uh, more and more game are going to implement officially implement gyro controlled and. These are not real gyroscopes. Um, let's just say it's not raw data. It's not raw data. It's just already processed. This is gyro to mouse or stick 
and uh, it's not usable for officially Windows being used of, to be properly implemented. How do I put it? Like, these are processes input okay these are process input and not raw data we need raw data to be work to work with uh official uh, to office support in the game like uh again she back or uh, uh fortnite yeah so these are only available these are really limited and it's gonna hurt this controller in the long run really currently it's still okay like most nearly every game supports mouse so we still can get away with it but in the future when more and more game uh implement official support for motion control this thing are not being used in those games really and they should fly dg particularly should work on this one that should allow uh, rewards to actually make use of the complete sensor data so they can actually uh properly implement it But um, honestly, I have been thinking really, I have been thinking, why don't FlyDG cooperate with Rewards? Now, Rewards is a mapping software developer and they have been working on the application for a couple of years now. And they have a expertise, their expertise in this sort of software. And FlyDG is really good at making hardware, but they're kind of not, they're not really making much progress with the uh, software, particularly the PC side. I I think now I'm not too sure because I don't use it mobile one, which is called the Game Center, FlyDG Game Center. But I think those that one is actually better. Really, the mobile software is better. Just the PC software isn't too great. The PC software isn't too great. So. What I have been thinking, why don't Fadigis cooperate with Rewards? And um, Rewards team should license a light version of the this day software to FlyDG and uh, allow them to use the existing features and uh, uh, Rewards past uh, because. Uh, FlyDG is not gonna catch up really. They they really be high and they're not making quick progress, they're not making fast progress. But because Rewards already has a working software, I think if they license out to FlyDG and uh, add it to the package, and it's not gonna be like a complete a full version, it's like a light version of Rewards where it's only work with FlyDG controllers and it's only and with some limited features but not full right and then this should allow the to focus more on making improving the hardware and also you can actually take some advice you can actually uh, be advised uh, the robots team can actually be advised to for the strategy to actually improve the firmware and everything else and they need it to make the control better honestly I really, really, I was looking for what to the um, impose trigger, but uh, too bad it's not available. What it was really, real shame. But that, that's what that's what I want to say really. <laughs> what strategy is not really moving for what in the software department. They they do really they make very good hardware. They everything they have been uh, adding to this controller like the trigger stop, the impose trigger the faster the faster uh connection and all that they they're doing really good but this series needs someone else to help them with the software side the mapping software and the firmware really because they every time they release something it's give me some head that every time yeah. that i change the software it give me head that With that said, with that said, it's entirely up to the. It's really I, I do not know. I do not know the internal effort, the effort between the uh, uh the two developer, the two companies. For uh, I think it's really benefit for the user if both of them cooperate because these these are make matching very realistic. Good hardware, good software. 
why don't they just why don't they just work together? That's what I'm saying. But seriously, how we consider this really, and how we got to come to some sort of agreement, right? Okay? All right, that's all I have to say.